Hi guys and welcome to the Elemental Shaman um, Single Target and AoE Rotation Guide and how to maximize your DPS in 7.35 Legion. So first I'll be going through the um, Single Target Talents and Legendaries and then the AoE. So for Single Target what you want to be taking is Totem Mastery. Um, you want to take Totem Mastery over Path of Flame because Path of Flame just isn't that good anymore and the buffs you get with the totems are just way, way better now. So for single target, you want to be taking totems. So you can get more maelstrom. Flame shocks do more damage. You just get more benefit out of totem mastery now. Next one's down to you. It really depends on the fight. Sometimes your raid wants ancestral guidance so you can do more health, more more healing and help the healers out. Whereas Windrush totem, you know, that helps out the raid with speed. But I like Gust of Wind just because it's kind of like a disengage. It's really, really good. Next one's down to you again. I like taking the Lightning Surge because obviously the stun is much better. Next one, you always want to take Ancestral Swiftness. It's really, really good. You don't really want the um, the the RNG of Aftershock and Elemental Mastery just isn't that good. I'd rather have the 60% haste all the time um, rather than the Elemental Mastery. Uh, next, what you want to take is Elemental Blast. It just gives you raw stats, which is just really, really good. The other two, you just don't get that much uh, use out of them. I don't really want an increase in Lava Surge. So yeah, Elemental Blast all the time. The next one uh, you want to take is Echo of Elements, due to the fact that it's just going to give you a lot, lot more Maelstrom. And Storm Elemental, just, you know, it's it's a long, it's a shorter cooldown, but you just don't get the full use out of it. And Magma's not really that useful, so Echo of Elements, just so you can Lava Burst more. And going into this, that's why I take Ascendance, because, because you know, I can just Lava Burst all the time, single target. So, um, single target Legendaries, that um what I like to use, and... Um, I'd a helm due to the fact blood dust lasts longer and I've got that one currently and it's just really really good you can get really big damage out because obviously it's for haste and now for your next single target I just like taking the pristine proto scale girdle due to the fact that it's just giving me lots more damage and obviously because I have echo of elements and ascendance I can make sure that this is at full stacks all the time so I just showcase it, showcase it now so you just want to make sure that you've always got your totems up on pull, I always use my um, Stormkeeper just so it's up, and then element start of Elemental Blast, then Flame Shock, and then start using up your charges of um, Stormkeeper, just because you know you just want to get Stormkeeper out of the way because you're not going to be using um, Lightning Bolt as much. You're only going to be using it when um, when your Lava Burst is on cooldown, which is very rare. But you just want to make sure that you're keeping up your Flame Shocks all the time, and you're just using your Lava Burst on pull, especially to go with your wrists, which are going to deal big damage. And I'm just using Ascendance now, and you literally just want to spam Lava Burst and Ascendance, and just make sure you're using your Maelstrom when it gets to 100 on the um, on Earth Shocks, and just make sure Flame Shocks all the time so you can get the instant. Now Elemental Bass, just use that up quickly, and get ready to use Earth Shock. Use Earth Shock now, and as you can see, I'm doing really, really big DPS. And if I tie it in with the uh, Bloodlust as well, you just see I'm going to be doing really, really big damage. And my Bloodlust lasts two minutes, which is going to give me just so much haste. So currently I've got the 30% haste with the BL and the 2% with the haste totem. And then another 6 with my um, with my Ancestral Swiftness. So that's it for single target. It's not much change, but for, um, for AoE it gets a bit more interesting, obviously. You know, shamans are really, really good for their, um, for the railway. So I take, like taking lightning rod due to the fact that it comes in really, really well with, um, with Stormkeeper. And I take Path of Flame due to the fact that Lava Burst deals 10% more damage and causes Flame Shock to spread to other targets. This means that when I, if there's about five adds, six adds, Flame Shock 1, then Lava Burst it, and all of them have Flame Shock. So it means I'm just going to be having instant Lava Burst all the time. So in between my Chain Lightnings, I can just use my Lava Bursts and then spend it all on my Earthquakes. You literally just want to be spending all of your um, all of your Maelstrom on Earthquakes. Because it's really just a waste on Earthshock. You just want to use it on Earthquake all the time. Next ones, obviously they're down to you again. If your raid wants you to take Guidance, take that. You know, if they need you to take Speed, take Windrush. And then Surge. Next is down to you again. I like taking the Ancestral Swiftness just because the haste is quicker so I can get off more Chain Lightnings. And the next one's down to you again, but I just like using Elemental Blast for them raw stats. It's just really, really good. And next for AoE, Liquid Magma Totem. A lot of people suggest against it, but I just think it's so, so good. Just when you get it down, it's just going to be dealing so much damage to the targets. And especially if you can place it well, 
You're just going to be doing so, so much damage. More than Echo and more than uh, Storm. And yeah. So I can't Lightning Run at the moment because uh, Ascendance is on cooldown. But I'll quickly show you what I mean with the Flame Shocks. And the legendaries you want to take for AoE is Alakir's Acrimony. This is going to increase your DPS so, so much with Stormkeeper. If you use Stormkeeper, then that is just going to do so, so much damage. Um, what you want to be doing is, as well as the wrist, you want to be taking the shoulders due to the fact that Earthshock has up to 50% chance based on Maelstrom spent to cause your next Earthquake to be free and deal 100% increased damage. This allows you that when you're getting really, really big Maelstrom, a bit large amount of Maelstrom, and you physically can't dump it down into Earthquakes, you have around like 120 Maelstrom and you just can't get the Earthquakes out quick enough because there's that many targets. That's when you want to be using Earth Shocks, just so you can dump 100 uh, Maelstrom. And if you get the Echoes of the Great Sundering, you're going to be doing really, really, really big Earthquakes. So I'll just quickly take Lightning Rod. So what you want to start off with is you just want to start off with Flame Shock in the, all the adds. So you're getting your instant procs up. So now as you can see now, I'm just dotting them all up. Make sure they all got Earth Shocks. And I'm going to use our Stormkeeper. So I have really big Maelstrom. And then I'm going to put down my Magma Totem. So it's spreading to all the targets. And as you can see, because so many of them have been like, have got my Flame Shocks, I'm just getting instant shocks. As you can see, I didn't generate that much Maelstrom because it... it the uh, chain lightning isn't hit that hit, hitting that many targets. Obviously, when uh, chain lightning hits a digital target, it gives you six uh, six maelstrom. But yeah, you want to be looking out for when it's lightning rod. Casting lightning bolt and chain lightning also deal forty percent to their lightning rod target, which is obviously going to increase your DPS so so much because they're just going to be non-stop lightning and just you're just going to burn them down. So you can see using maelstrom now, and as you can see, it's just really really good. It's really, really strong for um, AoE, Ellie, especially if you tie it in with Echoes of the Sundering. If you don't have that, it's quite hard to dump all of your Maelstrom into um, Maelstroms, because you just can't get that many out. And since it's 50 and not 10 to 100 like Earthshock, you can just dump them out really, really quickly, which is really, really nice. So yeah, that's it for the um, Elemental, Shaman, Single Target, and AoE rotations and legendaries. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos, and see you in the next one.